Hi all, today I like uh, to provide you with a simple introduction to volatility calculation. Firstly, know that we are talking about, or we will be talking about, historical volatility, which is the most common measure uh, of volatility on a uh, stock market. Okay, and uh, I think we can we can begin. Firstly, we have a time series of uh, stock prices in my case it is uh, the prices are of uh, stock of uh, Goldman Sachs Bank and we also have a uh, time series of dates okay you can uh, download uh, this data for free from instance for instance from uh, Yahoo Finance okay okay Firstly, uh, we need uh, some kind of to estimate the volatility. We firstly need uh, relative changes. Okay, uh, there are basically two ways how you can do it. Uh, you can either use so-called arithmetic daily changes, which means that you take value of uh, future date uh, minus value of the day before divided um, by the value of the day before okay I'll give you an example you take this one deduct this one which is the day before and as I said before you just simply divide it with the previous previous day okay in this way you can calculate the arithmetic price changes or uh, there is a more convenient convenient way how to do it using Excel is to use so-called logarithmic um, price changes okay which is very similar to the arithmetic price changes uh, however it has uh, some minor implications uh, but I'm not going to uh, go much into detail about this thing lock price yes and we should get really almost similar numbers can you see that it's very close this one is very close to this one okay I think uh, it's much more convenient to use this lock, lock price changes so we will delete this column okay um, the thing is that we need to get uh, some kind of time series of these lock price changes and from this changes of price we are going to calculate uh, the volatility using standard deviation function okay um, firstly we need to choose a horizon uh, for this time series usually mm, on financial markets we use uh, one-year horizon or half-year horizon it depends on you okay in this case I'm going to use one-year horizon today it's 29th of uh, April so I will search for 29th of April 2010 uh, too much over here okay and what th what this number basically says is uh, okay when I when it was uh, 5th of uh, May 2010 uh, the price changed uh, by minus 4% to day uh, 6th of May 2010 okay this it is this is what this time series is about changes in price relative okay it can be also expressed in percent 
format so that it's more clear for you okay what we are going to do now is to calculate standard deviation of this time series there is a nice function in Excel take the whole series you create it oh too much it's difficult because I have to <laughs> take care uh, where my cam is okay and this number is basically some kind of average standard deviation of this whole time series okay which means that this is uh, average volatility daily volatility but uh, we are not interested in daily volatility as I said before we are um, we are interested in uh, in uh, annualized volatility but how can we transform this number to uh, annualized volatility uh, it's pretty easy uh, if we know that there are about 250 or 255 trading trading days in a year we just multiply this number not by 250 or 255 but mm, by square root of 250 usually we we use 250 252 or 255 it depends on you I prefer 252 okay and that's it this is our volatility you can express it as a per percent and this is the most common way how to calculate volatility as I said before uh, we can choose a shorter horizon for estimation um, I think I guess uh, that for instance Bloomberg service uh, returns volatility calculated on half year time series okay but uh, it depends fully on you uh, what horizon you choose there is no general um, rule for choosing the horizon okay so I think um, that's pretty much all from me uh, know that the other ways how to calculate the volatility more sophisticated ways like mm, gauge uh, approach uh, or exponentially weighted moving averages mm, but I think uh, this this way is really easy every every one of you can calculate it perfectly uh, just with simple calculation in Excel as you could see okay so thank you for your thank you for watching this video and um, feel free to leave a comment if you like it okay bye bye